when we talk about this humongous task that is happening in uh, Chicago 2018 World Hindu Congress September 7 to 9th we need our brothers we need our sisters we need our community to come at large because Chicago is going to be hosting like delegates from all over the world 2014 had I think uh, 53 countries this time it's be much more and then comes the we all the way from Indiana then East Coast and West Coast uh, let's hear how excited you've been participating and then you had a presentation today why you feel it is important for us and to host it why it is important for somebody to attend Absolutely, yeah, and I think, uh, uh, as you rightly said, that it is a very humongous task, and um, I think Chicago is the right place to host such a conference. Uh, obviously, next year will be 125th anniversary of the uh, famous speech delivered by Swami Vivekananda, and um, I think the reason why we're all very excited, to be very honest, is uh, I think the World Hindu Congress is going to give a very uh, a good opportunity to the United States to bring together the leadership of various Hindu community organizations as well as the entire community at large uh, to sit together and deliberate on, on, a, on a, in a in a forum in a way which will kind of help us get connected much better than we've ever been before and, and, and this is really going to be a wonderful event. I think you've seen the 2014 videos with a great many number of speakers, uh, very learned individuals, very um, high achievers uh, from all over the world really so we're very excited to host all of them in Chicago and um, uh, the three of us are, are primarily working in the um, in the outreach team so we want to make sure that we reach out to the maximum number of people let them know about this uh, conference that's happening and uh, get the, uh, the leadership to participate as delegates as speakers as sponsors thank you so much you know, when there's a big wedding happens, we do know, we used to, it is a culture, Hindu culture, that we used to get, some of us used to bring some milk, somebody brings like chadi, like, you know, that is what is happening. That's why all the way from East Coast, Sanjay we welcome you, Boston uh, came to Chicago to help Chicago. How does it feel? Because we're family, right? Yes, of course, uh, all of us are a family. Uh, Boston is a place where the um, history of this country started. And we take pride in the fact that Vivekananda ji came to Chicago to deliver his address. Uh, so uh, this is like uh, amalgamation of the culture with the greatest saint we had. And not only that, the other thing is that we, outside of India, the greatest number of Indians anywhere is now in the U.S. We are almost constituting one and a half percent of the total population. And it's a matter of pride that uh, the Hindu Congress has chosen U.S to host the 2018 conference because the large number of participation we have in North America, not just US as well as Canada, they are also part of it. And we are looking forward to it. We are uh, excited about it because we will be not just bringing delegates from all over the globe, but we're targeting a large number of people from US who belong to various associations, various organizations, institutions, and those people who really are working in various fields. The conference, the Congress has seven different streams that the conferences are held about, the po uh, political side, the education side, the women's side, the economic side, and so many others. And youth, uh, we don't want to forget them. And this is an opportunity for us to showcase what we have brought with us from back home in India and how we are contributing to this place here and how we are uh, as a Hindu contributing to our own society, our own uh, Hindu uh, culture and Hindu society. That's what we want to showcase here. You know when somebody takes the name of Boston, what comes in a mind? Harvard, yeah. MIT, the educational, legend educational institutions that we have it over there. And India and Indians, when we talk about like Hindus, they have contributed so much and so many are there. I think the education is going to be one of the forum that will be having more for your presence from uh, your area. Absolutely. And so many entrepreneurs in that area. Silicon Valley people do know, but that is a Eastern yeah, Silicon Valley. Yeah, yeah. Eastern Silicon Valley is Boston, and Boston people are called as Boston Brahmins because you have MIT and you have 65 different u universities in Boston area. And all these students who come from India, most of them 
actually end up in Boston and, and then they go to various other places in the country and, and that is basically the seed of education is being transported everywhere else and we are uh, looking uh, for participation by the academia from Boston in the education uh, forum that we have and as well as in various other uh, forums, a women's forum and the youth and uh, definitely the economic forum and, and uh, as much as we can we will contribute and feel very proud to be part of this. Thank you so much, thank, thank you. you. Now comes someone all the way from uh, like you know four hours flight from here, Bay Area. Now uh, let's hear from you your name please. Uh, Maulik Shukla. Maulik Ji, we welcome you and uh, as we said you know people come for a very far off, very far off. Let's hear about your excitement to be as an outreach coordinator from West Coast, where we're talking about you know, what Silicon Valley has given to this country and what this country has given into people of Indian origin. Absolutely. So uh, I think we are expecting overall 2,000 plus delegates, out of which around 50% would come uh, from United States. And out of United States, more than 40% we are expecting would come from West Coast. Uh, so other than uh, Silicon Valley, I think now Seattle because of uh, Amazon, Microsoft and uh, even uh, Los Angeles area because of a lot of businesses out there. Uh, there is a lot of uh, Indian and Hindu demography uh, and uh, as Sanjay ji was explaining, there are seven different tracks or conferences that are going to happen uh, on economy, on education, you know, for youth, for women, etc. Uh, and I think we are very much excited to have this kind of uh, conference for Hindus in a such a large scale. And there is an opportunity for a lot of linguistic organizations, uh, opportunities for uh, uh, associations uh, like doctors' associations, lawyers' associations, etc. Uh, there is uh, opportunity for uh, businessmen, hotels, there are opportunities for temples, etc. In Bay Area itself, I would say there would be around 100 plus temples. Uh, I'm not even counting the temples in LA and Seattle, Portland, etc. So yeah, I think we are pretty much excited. I would also like to add that just last year uh, in LA, we did a World uh, Hindu Economic Forum and it was uh, in November and uh, that was a great success and we had a lot of learnings which would be uh, applying to this World Hindu Congress. When we talk about it, I think if somebody who's on my left hand side, if he is there, and the people from there are there, we don't even have to worry about the finances, they can just write like, you know, because that is a big part of economy. And um, why somebody, why it is important, like for a Hindu to take so much pride and so confident to be as a Hindu, how it feels to you like when this thing is happening? No, it is great. I think uh, for the next generation to call them as a pride Hindu, I think typically, uh, ten years ago, I remember uh, the kids were told A, B, C, D, uh, American born, confused Desis. I think that is now going away. Uh, and uh, I can see with the activities that we have been doing, like Bal Gokulams and Bal Vihars, and uh, supported by this kind of events where we are giving them platform to come together and unite and be, uh, uh, you know, successful uh, uh, Hindu. Uh, in, in United Nations, so they can be a U.S. citizens. At the same time, they can have practicing Hinduism. So I think that is uh, something great, and it's very important uh, for people to come up uh, and come forward. Uh, uh, talking about Silicon Valley, yes, there are a lot of opportunities, uh, names starting from Vinod Khosla or uh, Sundar Pichai, Satya Nadella. I'm not saying that they all probably would come. Uh, but yes, we'll definitely try to approach uh, all of uh, these nuggets, uh, and they're all Hindus, and uh, see what we can do. So when you're leaving now, I just want to give you a new definition for ABCD, <laughs> American-born, confident Desi. Wow. Thank you very much. I love it. Thank you very much, Vandirani.